All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to be going ahead and downloading and installing Ubuntu on my cheap eBay gaming PC. I've experimented with lots of different operating systems on this computer before, but today is the first time that we're venturing out into Linux on this system. If you don't know what Ubuntu is, it's a really lightweight, easy to use, user-friendly version of Linux. So I'm gonna be installing that on this computer today. And we're going to be seeing how Minecraft runs, what kind of performance improvement it gives us because there's no bloatware or anything like that. It's free, open source, and uh, it's a really nice operating system. So you guys will see the results in this video. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so to install Ubuntu, we need to go to their website and grab the ISO file. Go to download here. And you can either download the long-term servicing version or you can download the latest version. This version will last up to 10 years and it does get security updates, whereas this you have to keep updating and manually reinstalling. So I'm going to go with this version. And then, yeah, we just press save file here and uh, I'll be back once it's finished downloading. All right, so now that the Ubuntu ISO has successfully downloaded, I'll just put it on my desktop here. Next up, we need to go ahead and open up Rufus. If you don't know what Rufus is, I'll leave it in the description down below, but it's basically a nice, simple piece of software that you can use to burn ISO files to USB drives. So yeah, you will need a USB drive for this. Make sure you back up all your important files off your USB because it's gonna be completely erased for this process. So I've got mine selected here. This is the same one that I used to install Atlas OS. You can check out that video on the top right. So now we just need to select the ISO here and then just go ahead and press start. It'll come up with this message here. I'm just gonna write in ISO image mode because it's the recommended. It will need some additional files. So I'm just gonna go ahead and press yes to this message. And then the final warning is that it's gonna erase all of the stuff on the USB. So yeah, if you do do this, make sure to back up all your files. Don't wanna lose any of them. And uh, yeah, just press okay and let it do its thing. All right, that's all done. Now what we need to do is just unplug our USB from our computer. And yeah, I'm gonna go and plug this into my other computer right here. And I'm gonna switch over to my capture cards and I'm gonna record the Ubuntu installation process. A lot of people ask me how I record my screen and it is a capture card, which basically captures what you're seeing on my monitor right now. It's just like a little box that goes between the computer and my monitor, captures all of that information, sends it to my other computer and then I record it off there. Loads of people always ask me, so hopefully that explains it. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get switched over to that and let's install Ubuntu. All right, so I'm just turning on my computer here and we're gonna go ahead and press the F2 key because that is our BIOS. Now we're in our BIOS, I'm just gonna change the boot to our UEFI SanDisk USB. And yeah, here we go. Ubuntu is now starting up. All right, so I just booted off the USB here and we're in the little trial mode here. So this is what Ubuntu looks like, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to install here and we're gonna run the full installation and install it to my drive. So yeah, just select your language. It's a pretty simple installer. So yeah, for the installation, I'm gonna go for a normal one. I'm gonna install some third-party software for Wi-Fi. It's good to have. I'm not gonna have secure boot. And yeah, that's about it really. Just press continue. So I'm gonna erase my disk and install Ubuntu. This is completely up to you, but bear in mind, if you do erase the disk and install Ubuntu, then all your files will be erased. So make sure you do back them up if you do do this, but you can run them alongside each other by selecting this option here, which might be good for some people. Try out Ubuntu, see if you like it. While it's installing, I'm just gonna select my time zone here. We're also gonna set up an account here. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And here we are on our Ubuntu desktop. So yeah, it's pretty clean. We've got our apps kind of up here. We've got all of our applications here, which is quite cool actually. I do like the layout of Ubuntu. If you guys have seen my previous video where I installed Pop! OS on my main system, it's a lot like that. All right, so let's go ahead and install Minecraft on Ubuntu. So let's go to Firefox here, our web browser of choice. Type in Minecraft. And let's go ahead and go to Downloads. Now we want to get the Debian based distro because I think Ubuntu is Debian based. I don't know, I'm a big noob at this stuff. So yeah, let's click on that. We're going to go ahead and save the file. And then yeah, just go to your files, go to downloads and uh, let's just uh, ignore that. I may have downloaded it from the wrong one. And then yeah, just right click, 
and then click on open with software install then press install here and yeah just leave it to do its thing and the minecraft launcher should install there we go it is now installed so if we go to our applications here here it is minecraft launcher let's go ahead and put that here boom there we go so if we just open up the minecraft launcher now then it should just open like normal so you guys have seen me run vanilla 1.8.9 on this system with standard windows 10 with windows ltsc and most recently atlas os but let's see how it runs on ubuntu so yeah here we are minecraft is open let's go ahead and make a creative world here and uh yeah let's see how much fps we get i'm actually really excited to see this this is actually going to be quite interesting. So yeah, just load up the world here. Oh, we're in the sea. Lovely. Right, FPS. We're at 60. Yeah, well, we've probably got V-Sync on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn that off. Set that to unlimited. So yeah, here we are. We are getting about 80 FPS. Feels really, really choppy. Let me go ahead and try and go into full screen here. And uh, yeah, that seems to have fixed it a little bit. So yeah, we're on about 75 FPS. And yeah, bear in mind our video settings are pretty cranked up. We haven't got Optifine, we haven't got a client on or anything like that. This is really good, honestly. It's quite playable. If you remember before, I think on Windows, I got about 60 to just over 60. But look at this, we're getting about 80, 90 FPS. And we haven't even done any optimizations. We've literally just installed Ubuntu. And it's kind of kicked some new life into this computer, to be honest with you. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and install Optifine. And then we'll try and install Lunar Client and see what kind of FPS we get then. And uh, yeah, try and do some PvP with it. All right, so I've just installed Optifine. If you don't know how to do that, then just go on their website, download it as normal. And then you want to go to right click on it, go to properties and make sure you tick this box here. So now when we open it. It should just run like it would do on Windows. Here we go. So just press install. And that's Optifine successfully installed. I really thought Linux would be a lot more difficult than this, but this is pretty easy. And that's the advantages of using an easy version of Linux such as Ubuntu. You've just got so much support out there. So these are the video settings. So we are going to enable the Optifine FPS counter. A lot of people tell me that the debug menu decreases FPS. Uh, what do you know? We're getting about 100 FPS. Gone slightly down. Let's go ahead and turn off some settings. Let's first of all get rid of fog. Turn off the clouds. Here we go. Much better. So yeah, we just saw we got about 100 there. 90. Yeah, it's made a bit of a difference. Let's go ahead and turn down some settings now. And uh, let's go full on FPS mode. Let's turn down that. Put that on off. Just turn down the GUI scale a bit. View bobbing off. Right, so turn down some settings now. And we're getting about 200 FPS. Look at that. That's just amazing. So yeah, about 150 to 200 FPS. We are on the ground a bit, so let's go ahead and fly around. Make things a bit fairer. Yeah, we're still on about 200. This is amazing. It's so smooth. This is probably the smoothest I've ever seen this computer perform. Wow. All we did was turn down a few settings. Look at this. This is insane. Let's go to the main lobby. Have a little look here. Getting about 65, which is pretty respectable. Okay, bumped up to about 80, 100. Oh my god, this is good. This is really good. Let's go ahead and do some duels here. We'll do a duel on Optifine, and then I'm going to go ahead and install Lunar Client. Try and get that running on Linux and see what FPS we get on that. Right, let's try and do a duel here. It's going to be a little bit awkward because we've got the 1.7 animations. We haven't got a client or anything like that. Whoa. You see that hit? GG. There we go. So to install Lunar Client, we just go to their website. And you see what I mean about Ubuntu being so easy? We just go to the download section of their website. We go to the Linux download here. It's an app image, so we just go ahead and save the file. Wait for it to download. Right, so now that that's downloaded, you want to go to your files. You want to go to downloads. And then again, like we did with Optifine, right click. Go to properties, permissions, allow executing file as program. 
and then just double click on it. And there we go, Lunar Client's up and running. All right, so I've just opened up Lunar Client, but yeah, let's go ahead and go into our single player world here and just do a quick little FPS test. So yeah, if we just fly around here, thanks to Lunar Client's lazy chunk loading, we are literally, oh my God, <laughs> we're in the middle of nowhere, but we've, we're getting like almost 300 FPS. 330 there, that is insane. That is literally insane. This is probably the best FPS I think I've seen this computer get so far. But yeah, I'd highly recommend checking out Ubuntu if you've got a potato PC out there. It's really easy to set up and install and you don't have to do like commands for basically everything. Ubuntu is probably the most supported Linux distro out of everything. So all the applications you want, you can get from the software package manager. And if you want something like Lunar Client, just go ahead and download it, open it as an app image and boom, you're in. I might do a video in the future where I get a really, really old laptop, try and install Ubuntu on it and try and play Minecraft on it. If you guys want to see that, definitely leave a like on this video and I'll consider doing that. I know there are people out there with really bad computers. So if you want to see me get my hands on one and try and use one for a video, definitely leave a like and uh, I can go through the pain of that. GG. So yeah, PvP is really good on here. We're getting 200 FPS. Like If you can't PvP well with 200 FPS, are you even that good? Let's play normal Sky Wars. I haven't played Sky Wars in ages. I remember it just being really OP. Wow, we just got full diamond. Look at that. Let's go to the middle here. Let's get this guy. Oh, no, I wanted his staff. Oh, and he got away as well. Surprise. How's that guy not off? Okay. No, 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 no. Get you as well. <laughs> oh my god, I won. <laughs> with one kill on the low end system with Ubuntu. GG. <laughs> <laughs> the most undeserved win ever. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. I definitely recommend checking out Ubuntu if you're tech savvy, you know what you're doing. If you don't, then hopefully the guide in this video is useful to you. And hopefully you can start getting insane FPS like I'm getting on this system right now. Let me know if you want me to do a video where I get a really, really low end laptop, try and install Ubuntu and play Minecraft on it. Let me know if you want to see that in the comments down below. And uh, yeah, I'm glad you guys are all enjoying my content recently. Thank you guys all for that. Shout out to you, Safe for the Drip. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.